The more you free ball it and leave up the chance, the less likely it's going to go down for you. That's what happened with me and pickup. I didn't track shit. I didn't have a coach. I didn't have accountability. I didn't even have goals going out for the weekend. I would just go to the venue. The first two, three years of pickup, I would just get drunk and stumble around the club with no goal, no intention. Maybe something happened. Maybe nothing happened. But I wasn't tracking shit. And that's why it took me a lot longer than it needed to. If we just leave it up to chance, like nothing's going to become of it. You got to track this shit. Man, if you're serious about it and that goes for anything in life man like i don't know anybody that's serious about something that's not thoroughly tracking whatever that thing is if you're trying to get better with women you should be tracking how often am i going out how many women did i talk to over the weekend how many dates have i gone on in the last week where am i struggling how many times have i practiced doing the thing i'm struggling with if it's business i've hired so many different business coaches they all tell me the same thing right when i start what are your numbers looking like Let's see the tracking. Let's see the KPIs. Where are you at right now? If you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to gain muscle, any trainer is going to tell you, track your shit. What are your macros looking like? What are your calories looking like? What did your last workout look like? What are your numbers looking like? Whatever the f thing is, dude, if you're not tracking it, you're leaving it up to chance. If social circle or relationships is something that you want to prioritize, then by all means, like you need to track that to some extent. And I used to do it on like a smaller scale. I remember in like 2014, 2015, what I would do, like I, I was tracking it within the gym I would go to. I was at a relatively big gym. It wasn't that big, but everybody that would go there was my age. I would get into a lot of interactions. Anytime I would meet somebody, I would write their name down and write one or two things about them that I just was relevant from our conversation. Cause I wanted to know everybody's name and I wanted to remember who the fuck they were. Because when I would go into the gym after a month or two, like, dude, it's a lot of fucking names. Month goes by, you don't see somebody, you don't remember their name, it starts to feel weird. But if you know their name, it's very easy to be like, oh, sh Jay, what's up? Even if you haven't seen him in two, three weeks. Like, oh, Jay, what's up? What's good, dude? So anytime I would go into the gym and I would meet somebody, I would write their name down, write a quick thing about them. And then every time I would show up to the gym, I would just start really quickly. It would take five seconds. I glance over the list. It's like, hey, these are all the people I've met. Just a quick reminder of their names. Honestly, it made it easier to re-engage with some of these people. Now, that's like a very small scale of how I track things. If you want to go bigger with it, you absolutely can. You can write down every single person's name. You can write something about them. You can write status of the relationship. Last time we got in contact with them, something we talked about possibly doing. Like, you could be as thorough with it as you want. I don't care what you do, but I think it's important that whatever you're trying to get better with you should track to some extent the extent to which you are tracking it and holding yourself accountable on those things it's relatively proportionate to the amount of growth you're going to have in it the more you free ball it and leave it up the chance the less likely it's going to go down for you that's what happened with me and pickup i didn't track shit. i didn't have a coach i didn't have accountability i didn't even have goals going out for the weekend I would just go to the venue. The first two, three years of pickup, I would just get drunk and stumble around the club with no goal, no intention. Maybe something happened, maybe nothing happened. But I wasn't tracking shit, and that's why it took me a lot longer than it needed to. Leave it up to chance, maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in implementing any of the concepts taught in this video, I have a brand new coaching program where you can actually work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to analyze your communication, your pickup skills, your game, and assess where you're at, point out your blind spots, your sticking points, show you the step-by-step -step process as well to take you from where you're at right now to accomplishing your goals with women and dating. Click the link in the description, fill out that application, pick out a day and a time for that consultation call, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Until next time, Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out, guys.